Hi, I'm Jack Koenig with Graco Industrial Lubrication Equipment and this is the new electric grease jockey. Because the electric grease jockey is based on the G3 platform, it actually programs a lot like a G3 Pro if you're familiar with that pump. However, we also offer the data management system or DMS on the electric grease jockey so that adds a little bit of complexity to the beginning for the units that have that. This demo unit does include DMS, so you'll get to see that in a minute. Before we go into the actual programming, let's go over the buttons that are here. This is the cancel button, but it's also the left arrow. This is the down arrow and the up arrow, which when you hold them together, take you into the programming mode. And then this button actually has three functions. When you're not in programming, it's the manual run button, but in programming, it's either the right arrow or the enter button. Up here we have some we have a light to show you that the mode it's in is the off mode but it's also showing that it displays in hours and minutes. When the light is lit up over here it's in on mode and then it also says that minutes and seconds is the way time is displayed for the on time. So now let's go into programming. We just hold the up and down arrows together for a couple of seconds and here because we have the DMS it has date and time we don't need to mess with that we can just hammer past it it's just telling us that today is November 13th and the time 2 in the afternoon in the 24 hour format now we're to the on time if your pump does not have DMS it would just jump right to this screen first now we can see that the light is lit up and again this is minutes and seconds so it tells us that we're programming on time the other thing we can tell is that there's a little ball here below MM that tells us that this is minutes. There's another SS column here that when we move over to the seconds column it'll say SS. The only reason to change your on time is if you have injectors that are not firing and you think you need more grease. Sometimes if there are a lot of injectors in your system you may need more volume to make the system run which may mean that you need to increase your on time. However, if your injectors are working properly and you just want to get more grease, the best thing to do is actually shorten the off time. Leave the on time alone if everything's working and just reduce the off time. Now we can see the light is lit up here and it's saying hours and minutes. So this is two hours, 53 minutes. And here again, there's the ball under HH. It'll move to MM when we get to the right side of the colon, like that. Now you can see under MM. If you start out with the factory default of three hours and you want to go down to two hours, just change the hour column. So now we have a seven minute on with an hour 53 minute off, which gets us two hours total. If we want to reduce this down to one hour even, we can just go to 53 minutes and now this basically triples the amount of grease that your truck is going to receive because the pump's going to run three times as often. So we can just leave it set like that and now it's counting down from 53 minutes. The one limitation on timing is that the pump motor, actually the motor used in this pump has a one-third duty cycle. So we can run this more often if your system is small enough that it runs in the standard seven minutes. I'm just gonna use seven minutes as an example. So I'm putting this back to seven and then now the off time needs to be at least twice that because it's a one third duty cycle. It can only run one third of the time. So now if we run for seven minutes, we could do 14 minutes off. You're gonna get a lot of grease this way because now you're talking about running three times an hour basically. So now it would just count down from 14 minutes and then run for seven minutes and then go back to resting for 14 minutes. That's a lot of grease. Just to wrap this up, let's put it back to what the factory default was. All right, now this is minutes. So all I need to do is 253 on this. There. Now it's counting down and I can check. If I want to hit manual run, I can see that's counting down from seven minutes 
and then I can stop it before I actually get grease dispensing. So that's manual run, that's cancel. That's all that's to it. It's a pretty simple system. It's just a matter of understanding that the biggest trick is that the on time is minutes and seconds, the off time is hours and minutes. If you have any questions, let us know. We're always happy to hear from you.